Okay, now we're going to discuss a little bit about what it takes to add, remove, or change pages and the content inside of them in your website. Now all of your product pages are generated automatically and um, by default that's under a, a page called rentals, but you can change the name or you can uh, remove it altogether from the navigation if you wish. The rest of the pages are informational pages that are uh, often set by default inside the system which you can edit, add to, remove as you see fit. We've had some customers add hundreds of pages and others just stick with the default. It's all up to you. So what you're seeing here is under website and then website editor and this is a graphic representation of all the pages on your website and uh, the little flashing that you're seeing when I roll over it is that you can also add more pages wherever you see these green pluses. So um, let's say that we want to move policies from underneath frequently asked questions in the drop down and we're going to put it up underneath the about us drop down. So I would click on policies and then if you just look at this we have two choices. We can remove the link from the navigation or we can move this link or we can edit the page. Those are the big things that you're going to be doing. So we're going to say move this link in this case and all I have to do is click where I want it to go. So now we have policies underneath the about us drop down and I'm going to go ahead and do that again for privacy policy. I'm going to say move this link and put it right underneath here. So we just move the navigation simply by making a couple of clicks. Um, now because not every page in version 2 has to be in the navigation, we also have this display all pages down here in case you want to have some pages that are just landing pages, for example, that do not display in the actual navigation. So that's what those are for. So if I want to select, say, frequently asked questions right here and edit it, I can either click on frequently asked questions in the navigation representation part or I can go down under frequently asked questions here. It's going to do the exact same thing. So let me go ahead and click on it and then click edit page content. And you'll see this is the path. This is how we set up the navigation. If you wanted it to go to an external uh, web page, you can edit that path so it goes to, say, your blog or to somebody else's website if you want them to do something like that. Inside of the editor, um, we have an updated version of our online editor now, and you can maximize that editor by clicking on this little icon right here, and that'll make it uh, full screen. And to shrink it back down, just click it again. Uh, you'll see that underneath we have the HTML title. This is also known as a title tag your meta keywords and meta description. Keywords for the most part are not being used by Google anymore but some of the other search engines still look at them a little bit and uh, meta description is still being used. This is where you write the sentence form. Um, so this is all the code that uh, the SEO places talk about that is not seen on the front of the web page. This is a behind the scenes kind of thing. So keywords is usually comma delimited or comma separated uh, just words and phrases that people might use to find you and the description is just the sentence form of the same thing and uh, the HTML title is what shows up on the very top of the navigation uh, in your tab so without going into a whole lot of SEO let's go back to the page editing so in here it's just like an online word processor and uh, luckily we now have uh, font size selection by actual sizes rather than relative large extra large. Uh, we also have some fonts to choose from and you can add tables. Um, this is uh, how to add a link if you want to add a link. So um, I'll make separate training videos on some of those when we uh, get into that. If you decide to paste from Word, just a little word of caution. I always recommend going into Notepad um, and pasting it into there first. That removes all the hidden uh, formatting and that's what this paste from Word does. 
I just I personally prefer stripping out all the formatting. When you first paste something from Word, it'll look just fine, but when you edit it later, that hidden uh, the hidden stuff that they put into their files messes with web browsers. So I tend to recommend getting rid of that first. Um, and without going into too much detail, one more thing. A lot of people ask, how do I add a, an image? And this is the little image icon. You can click on that and upload images into your web page from there. So uh, when you're all done, you are going to have to shrink it back down so you can see the submit and save. Submit takes you back one, save keeps you where you are, so if I hit submit, it'll save the changes that I've made and bring me back to the navigation. So I hope that uh, helps get you started. Uh, if you want to create a new page, you can use some of the pages that are already created to help you out with the path uh, because there's two steps. You want it in the navigation and you want the page. So that's the idea, and then you save. So let us know if you have any questions and enjoy your day.